Philadelphia police have released new surveillance photos of a suspect wanted in the deadly shooting of a local singer. Jalil Foy was shot and killed last month while sitting outside of his mother's home. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Corrado joins us with the very latest on the search for his killer and reaction from a block captain who knew Jalil very well. Kerry. Yuki, good evening. Police are trying to get these pictures out everywhere in hopes someone may recognize the man and the car he was driving. We just hope that they get whoever did this because it's just, it's not right. Police are asking if you know this man or recognize this 2014 Maserati with Pennsylvania tags. He is a suspect in the murder of Jalil Foy. Last Wednesday, the 27 year old brotherly love singer was shot multiple times in the torso and neck as he sat on the front steps of his mother's home on the 1800 block of Sigel Street in South Philly. And these kids with these guns and these guys with these guns and these girls with these guns, they think that they're cool and they're tough. I want to see how tough they are when they look. Look into Miss Tangie's face after they killed her son. <laughs> Following the shooting, Foy's grief stricken mother and council member Kenyatta Johnson held a peace walk. They walked together through the neighborhood in an effort to stop the gun violence. We have to stick together and we have to end this in any way we can. Block Captain Sarah Lagaki says everyone in the community is still shaken by Foy's murder. She says police even spent time on Sigel Street in hopes to bring comfort to residents after the gunfire erupted. She has a message to the person who pulled the trigger. I just tell them to man up. Man up. You thought you were tough doing this. Let's let's see how tough you really are. So here's the suspect's photo one more time. If you know him or the car, you are asked to call detectives right away. You can also leave your information anonymously through the tip line. Detectives say they do not have a motive. They are just asking the public for help at this time. We're live tonight. Carrie Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Carrie, thank you.